Okay. Oh, man. All right. Let's wash our hands again because, yeah. We got to wash the hands again. We got to put our food in the oven because, yeah. Let's see. Hola, hola, Tam. <laughs> Grown folks, yes, it's time. <laughs> Natasha, hola. Uh, am I from Chicago? Yes, yes. We're in Illinois. Y2K, hola. Oh, somebody knew. You knew Y2K? Hola, hi. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Honey, I'm getting ready to put this chicken. Let me see. I just took it right there. Let me put it on the side because, honey, we definitely, I got, I have to, honey, I think this is enough mustard. Yeah, we're going to make some baked chicken. I'm hungry, man. Damn. I'm hungry. Yeah, we gonna. I think I get. I think I have enough baked chicken on. I mean, um, mustard. Yeah, mustard. I think I have enough mustard on this baked chicken. Hola, hi, hi, Kaya. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Oh my grown folks, the grown folks room, but. Yeah, we getting ready to put this baked chicken in the oven. Yes. Make a few potatoes with it. Girl, yes. That's what we're doing. We're going to put it in this little pan. And we're going to make us a few. Yeah, just make some potatoes or something with it. I have a taste for me some good. You know, just one. Let's see what we doing. Who is it? Did somebody else? Hello! Hola, witches! Girl, where you been? Huh? What it do? You know it, grown folks. <laughs> How's it going there? Girl, I'm trying to put me some chicken wings. Yes. Trying to put us some, you know, I think I can have enough mustard on it. Yeah, a few chicken wings, a few, you know, just a little something. Just, I'm hungry, sure. You know, when you get hungry, you got to cook. You got to cook. Mm -hmm. You got to cook. Girl, I just hope I got enough space on, in this pan. Dang. I hope I got enough space in the pan. Got doggy. Huh? Yeah, honey. I have to have me some some mustard chicken wings. Yeah. Just making a little something. Just making a little something. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. That's good. Nothing like some good cooking food. Yes. Just a little wrap up on it. Just a little wrap. I think I need me some more smoke, though. I, need, I think I need some. You know, I need just a little bit more smoke. Smoke, 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 smoke. Mm -hmm. How's it 
going, everyone? Everyone, everyone, everyone. Yeah. Shoot. I'm trying to make me just a little food, man. Dang. Which is, I've been working some crazy hours. Oh, <clears throat> nothing like uh, working. Come on now, I'm making that bag. Don't be playing. You got to make the bag. What, 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 oh, here it is. We got to put a little bit more foil on you. Yeah, just a little bit more. I'm trying to put me a few. Just a little chicken in the oven. Just a little chicken in the oven. I got to taste what it is. It is so chilly here. I just don't get it. Springtime does not want to come to Illinois. Girl. I went out today and didn't have my jacket on and honey, please. Yeah. I went out, didn't have my jacket on. Hola, Red. Hola, Natalie. Hola, Sharon. Hi. All right. I got some new faces up in here. Welcome to the break room. But yeah, not the break room. Oh, Lord, the grown folks. The grown folks. Hold on. Huh, welcome to the grown folks. Huh? You see, you be you be tuning in the other channel. You be that what you huh? yeah. No. The grown folks. Yes. You be tuning in to your other people and you forget. You be like, dang. But yeah, honey, I'm trying to make me some trying to cook me some chicken. Charisma, hola, hola, charisma. Natalie, what you say? I know, I live in Madison, Illinois. Why is it, man? I made a mistake today. I'm ready for warm weather. I made a mistake. I went out, huh? I had to, man, stop. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. So now, so I'm like, I'm going home. And I'm going to put me some food in the oven. Once the uh, grown folks get in here, yeah, we we go. Uh -huh. We putting some food in the oven. We not uh 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 uh. So that's what time it is. I'm like, it is cold. Yeah, you in Madison? Oh yeah, well you you know what I'm saying. She said she in Madison. <laughs> oh yes, it's chill. It is. And here it is, because earlier, the, the sun was out. You know, the sun was out. I'm like, okay, it must be, you know, warming up. Girl, mm-mm. Don't let that, don't let it fool you. Don't let that sun fool you. It's chill. <laughs> it's chilly outside. Don't let it fool you, honey. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So I'm like, nah, we not doing that. We definitely. Yeah. So. I said, man, I'm going to go home. Take me some chicken out the freezer. And, honey, I am going to, yeah. I'm going to cook me either some chicken legs, some chicken wings. Something. That's how I'm doing. I'm not. <laughs> yes. That is how I'm doing it. I love keeping my dog going. Yeah, honey. I'm not, not doing this today. Hey. Yep. Not doing this today. Go home and throw me some wings. Let the hot water run. Let the hot water run. Let's see where everybody. Let's see. It's 63 in, in Virginia. Okay. Nurse C. Hola. Hola, nurse. Yes, it's chill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> Yeah, went to say the weather is crazy. Yeah, because, uh, I don't know. I'm just knowing it was nice 
because at one point it was trying to, you know, it seemed like the the spring was trying to come in. And now it's like, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> it, it has given up. It's like, nah, I, I don't want to uh, fight with the, uh, the weather. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to let it stay. <laughs> you know, Mother Nature. Nah, I'm just going to let it stay the way it is right now. Yeah, so, yeah. So I said, man, I'm going to come home and I'm going to, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So how are you all doing? Yeah. Virginia, yeah, Red. I don't know. It seems like it's chilly everywhere. Vanessa, hola. Hola, Vanessa. Yeah, we have a lot of bush people today. Yeah, you good? Okay. Did the uh, Winters, did the boo cook you some food? I know. See, Winters, she, honey, I'm not thinking about her because Winters have food cooked for her. She don't. <laughs> and yes, I could stop and get something because I was out, but I'm like, no, nah, man, I just feel like something. Something warm, something nice in the kitchen. Don't mean to brag, but the weather in California is here. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, yes, you do, Vanessa. You mean, <laughs> you mean to brag? <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Oh, tacos, you. Oh, Taco Tuesday. PJ, hola, hola, PJ, hi. Hi, how's everyone? Yeah, okay. I know sometimes you just can't get in here every day. Sometimes you just, you know, <clears throat> so I got to check in with Donna in a couple of days. Donna Marie and the grown folks, I have to check in. And that's fine, you know. We know you love us. Vanessa, okay, I do. Right, don't be playing like you don't. <laughs> Keish, hola, hola, Keish. Hi, hi, yeah. <laughs> PJ was like, okay, let me check in today. I haven't been here in some days, so yeah. <laughs> Don't think you're not missed when you're not here now. Come on now. We know, we know our kid folks. Let's see what, yeah. You know this is my, my supper time. Yeah, I know. I know, honey. And I want you to sit and eat. My, I'm just stopping in to say hi. Hi, Keish. And I'm, I'm happy that you stopped in. That's all. I'm happy. Hit the like button. You know? Oh, yeah. Who is this? Talking about this 90 here in Florida. Oh, you know what? Oh, I need some of that Chilly weather. Yeah, I wish you could get some. <laughs> PJ, what? You don't get it alert? Well, you got to, uh, yeah, check your notification. Make sure you hit that, mm, mm, that notification bell. Hit it two times. Yeah, like two chains. Hit it two times, honey. Yeah. <laughs> it winters more. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tacos and a drink. You know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to make some tacos. A Taco Tuesday. Right. I love me some turkey tacos, man. Turkey tacos. Chicken tacos. Yeah, PJ. Okay, laughing out loud. Yeah, laugh out loud. It's all good. Motion. Yeah, but yeah, Vanessa over there talking about this 90 degrees. Oh, man, please. It's, 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 I, I, like I said, I made a mistake without, didn't have no jacket. I'm, mm -mm. Once I got situated, I put this sweater on because I had short sleeves. I'm like, no, that is not going to work. That's not going to work, honey. Yeah, so now nah, I put some sleeves on. Mm -mm. You know, and then see, we so ready for, the warm weather, we prematurely, you know, put on short sleeves and stuff like that. No, it's it's not time. <laughs> it's not time. <laughs> Vanessa, every chance I get, girl, I work hard. I heard that. 
Let me put on a timer. Let's put a timer on. Because, baby. Yeah, let's put a timer on. Because, honey, when I start talking to my grown folks, I forget all about the food cooking. <laughs> Winter is <laughs> Ditto, I know. <laughs> Shoot. Dang, 90 degrees. Mm-mm. So it's gonna be a minute before my food get done, shoot. And I'm hungry too. But I'm good though. I'm good. I'm just gonna be cool. I got my let me put my food up. Let me put my my what? Let's put I like to put all the seasonings back up. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Put our oh, Winter you say this her dinner time? I like that sweater down the cute. This is Ralph Lauren's um polo polo club. Yeah, with the teddy bear. <laughs> with the little club. <laughs> yeah. Yep, this Ralph Lauren polo club. Yeah, little teddy bear. Teddy bear club. You know, like this the grown folks club, this the teddy bear. Club. <laughs> yeah. What are you making today, Miss Donna? I am baking. I just put it in the oven. You must have missed it. Huh? I am making some chicken wings. Something I haven't had in a while. Now, the boo, you know, he eats it all the time. Because whenever he go to Outback, honey, he eat a whole... You know, you see him with the whole plate, you know? <laughs> but I said, man, I have a taste of either some legs or chicken wings. So that's what I did. Jonah, hola. Hola, Jonah. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so I'm like, man, I either want chicken legs. So the first thing that was in the freezer on the top, that's what I grabbed. And I thought it was legs at first, but no, it's wings. <laughs> So I'm like, that's fine with me. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna make some wings, bake some um, potatoes. I put some potatoes in with, with some onions and, you know, and um, yeah, I have some frozen green peas. I'm gonna heat those up because I cooked them already. So yeah, who is it? Tracy, hola. Hola, Tracy. I thought I said Tracy must be on vacation. Yeah. Hey, beautiful. What all did you <laughs> put on your chicken? Oh, I put some Larry's. Little complete, just a little, you know. And you know, it's something about this. I don't know what it is. It's just so tasty. Tony's, man. Tony's, look garlic, you know, look garlic, yeah, and you know, got to have some black pepper, gotta have a little black pepper, <laughs> yeah, that's what I put on mine, and you know what I topped it off with, right, come on now, you know what I topped it off with, sound scrumptious, yeah, Jonah, Natalie, now, have you ever tried Korean fried chicken? You know, it's a place over here, and I've been wanting to go in there. I haven't went in there yet. It's called Tiger Chicken. It's a Korean place where they have Korean chicken, and they be lined up for that chicken, the Koreans. I'm like, dang, I want this. When is it good? <laughs> if you live near a bunch, you have to try they have a few locations in, the, in Illinois, bunch. Okay. Now, the Korean chicken place out here in Schaumburg is named Tiger. Tiger Chicken. Yes, yeah, Korean chicken. And they be lying. Like, and that's all be in there is Korean. <laughs> okay. Oh, Tracy says she at work. Okay. That's right now. Get that bag. That Tony's make everything taste good. Yes, it does, Wintress. Put Sazon 
on everything too. Yeah, you know I don't put that on there too much, but I always put. But I, I, I'm I'm gonna start putting that on there too. You know, I just love the way you be singing about the food makes me smile. You know, it's just something about food. It just, especially when you cooking it at home and the oh, yeah. the smell starts to get through the house. Man, please, it just smells wonderful. It really do. It smells wonderful, and and it seems like when the when the food when it gets in the air, it just gives you some type of you know you're ready to eat. You know what I mean? Especially if you really haven't eaten. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's especially when you really haven't eaten. I let's see. I drink a couple of cups of coffee. Yeah, you know I do the Starbucks thing. You know, it makes you, Winter said, it makes your chicken and fish look pretty. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Because, you know, you, you love when something looks good. You know, if it's all trashy looking and looking nasty, you'd be like, oh, okay. Hi, Butter. I saw your message. Thank you, Butter Pecan. Hola, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> Everybody had their own way now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but because I say bonjour. All right, I, I like that, bonjour. Hola. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. You eating tacos today? This Taco Tuesday. Finally caught your live. Okay, bon appetit. You know it. Come on now. Good, just good eating. You know what I mean? Come on now. Especially when you cook at home. It's just something about home cooking you know we uh the boo he takes us out like once a week on his off day and that's cool too that's that's good too yeah no pizza today laughing out loud okay okay pizza's good yeah you know we have a pizza place by us it's called giordano's and they have very good pizza they have a stuffed pizza Ooh, that they famous for. It is really good. And then I'll get the, what you call it, the thin crust. I love the extra thin crust. And I usually get the chicken. The chicken supreme, it has chicken and, and what, um, what is that, spinach. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. But most of the time we get Sausage and pepperoni, because you know him. He he don't want don't be putting no spinach and stuff on my pizza. Uh, okay. You know it. Tam homemade pizza. You know, my mother used to buy. I've had Giordano's once when I was in Indianapolis. Okay, okay. And we went to a place, it was over in, oh my goodness, I can't think. It was like 111th and it was all the way west. It was past western somewhere. And she would get the accessories to make homemade pizza. And it was. It was very good. It was. It was very good. That's what we did quite a bit. My mother would get, she would go to this place and she, you know, and then you make your own pizza. You get the sausage, pepper, you get everything. Hola, hola, Pauline. Hi. Hi, Pauline. Hola. Yes. Hola. <laughs> Grown folks, you know it. There, there you go. Grown folks. That's us. Mm -hmm. We got our professional apron. Grown folks. Mm. With, with roses, don't it? That's right, huh, honey. We, 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 we top flight over here. This ain't no jokey joke. That's right. Grown folks with the... With the... Um, yeah, with the roses on. Don't you love the big, pretty roses? I mean, he really outdid himself with that. With the, Yes. How'd your mom end up in Cali, but you in Illinois? Well, see, we lived in Illinois all of our lives, but we had family there. I had a great aunt. She was there, Ruth. She lived in California, and, you know, when... <laughs> You know it, baby. Yeah, it's, it's Jazzy over there. Them big, beautiful uh, roses. Yeah, so thank you, <laughs> boo. So 
when her husband passed, she had already made up her mind. She didn't tell us, but she had already made up her mind. She was going to relocate to California and just enjoy. And, um, you know, I only went there once. And when I went there, I wasn't over on that side. You know what I mean? My mom knew I was there, but yeah. <laughs> and um, honey, that Rodeo Drive, that doggone, um, that shopping down there is just wonderful. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front the the prices. Come on, girl, Rodeo Drive is something beautiful. But uh, the prices down there, man, please. But by you working, when you work for the government or the, the criminal courts and things like that, the hotels, they will give you a, a nice deal. They will. You know, since you came here and you, and you work, you, you show them your badge, your ID and stuff, your star, they'll give you a, a deal as far as um, coming down there, being a tourist. Mm-hmm. So you, we did, we got a break on that far as a uh, hotel yeah so yeah it's, it's beautiful that's all i can say winter is more it's so yeah it is cute yeah and when you when when he surprised me with it i'm like man please <laughs> yeah so mm -hmm. he know i love flowers and stuff like that even though i have allergies i don't know why but you know you need to come on back for a visit yes Yes. But you know what? When I went, yes. What Tam say? Yes, they do. I retired from the sheriff's department. I love those travel deals. Yes. And they will because, you know, California is expensive anyway. You know, so. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But. Uh, yeah. No. But you know what? I just don't understand why now <laughs> they've let the homeless situation get so bad. You know, you would go to, hmm, it's a place and it's delicious. It, it, it really is. And it's been some years. I haven't had it since then. And it's called Roscoe Chicken and Waffles. And it is, it's very good. It's not, you know, the most spectacular place. But the food is good. Yeah, Roscoe Chicken and Waffles. California born and raised, but I stay out. And I don't understand that. It's crazy with the homeless, unfortunately. I didn't know it was as bad as it was. It's a pro problem everywhere. Yeah, literally, yes. Yeah, certain areas, it's worse than others because we don't have it out here, but we have it in Chicago, though. Yeah. Roscoe's has gone downhill now. Down. Really? really? Oh, I can't believe it. That was really good. Roscoe chicken and waffles. Oh, yes, it's good. They have several locations. Yeah, but I know when we went, I, I know it had to be in LA when we went. Mm hmm. Oh, it's the, went downhill, Roscoe's. Dang, okay. Okay, but yeah, I just don't get it. But yes, they do. They use all what? Are you sip? <laughs> they use all canned food. Wait a minute now. Now we can do that ourselves. We don't need to go to Roscoe's. <laughs> oh my goodness, chicken is still okay, but the size no. What? Dang. Cans. Everything in a can. That's really sad. The homeless need more help. Yeah. Yeah, because no, we don't have it here where we stay, but let's say further, like when you get to Chicago, they have, uh, I'm trying to think, Lower Wacker Drive. Yeah, that's what it is. Lower Wacker Drive. They start to, yeah, that's where the homelessness. I think that's where it stopped. What he saying? That where P and B Rock got killed. Oh, oh yes, sure did. The rapper sure did. You know I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, he surely did. 
Mm -hmm. I think the girlfriend was on live and, and disclosed where they were. And, and they, yeah, yeah, and they, and they killed him. I forgot about that. Sure did. And that might be another reason why it's gone. But the canned food, that's ridiculous. Uh-oh, who does this say they mad? What you mad at, Winters? Because of the, uh, the homeless people? But yeah, you know, so Chicago, when you get to Lower Wacker Drive and you drive that way, you just see rows and rows of beds, you know, and I don't mean beds, mattresses. And yeah, and um, yeah, that's all I can say about it. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's where Tent City is somewhere too. In, in Chicago. I'm not sure. But I know we do have it. Because we have a place. I forgot the name of it. For homeless men. Yeah. Yeah, Skid Row. Yeah, Skid Row. Yeah, you go. Yeah. Yeah, Skid Row. And I just don't get it. It's just... <laughs> What it is, is scary. That's what it is, you know. It, de it deters you from going that way because, you know, and you don't look down on anyone. You know, I don't feel like I'm better than anyone, but, I mean, <laughs> that's I, I don't really know what to say, you know. It would be bad to be homeless in Chicago. Yeah, I just don't know how they make it. But see far as um, Lord Wacker Drive. See, Lord Wacker Drive is under tunnels. And, and all under these tunnels are vents. And the vents are, have heat coming out of it from the businesses. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they be heated up kind of down there. But they still outside, but they be heated up. That's all I can say. Yeah. Yep, and you see them, and I'm like, dang. And from what I understand, most of the um, shelters are full. You know, they're full, you know, because they're going to take families, you know, like uh, a mother and her children and things like that. They, they're they going to take them first. Yeah. Donna, when you stayed in Chicago, did you ever go stepping? Yes. Yes, I did. You know what I'm saying? But um, I was never like a professional stepper. You know what I'm saying? I know people work with the criminal court with me. They, man, they step, man. This girl named Pam, Pam would step, honey. <laughs> okay. Winters, it's hard. It's hard out. Yeah, out out here. It's a lot of people, a paycheck away from being home. And that's scary. That's scary. You know, it's fewer people, few people on down. Um, on YouTube that I know that's like, you know what I'm saying? And it's dead, you know, and they my age, you know, so you like, dang, you know what? I don't know, you know, see, when you're younger, you got a, you got a fighting chance, you know what I'm saying? You 20s, 30s, you know, if you work hard at it, you could, you could build you something, you could build wealth, but once you get like 60 and stuff like that, and you... I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's it's very scary. That's all I know. You know, it's very scary. Yeah. Oh, Z. Z, Z. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, yeah. And so he, um, yeah. He'll pop in when he get a chance. When he not driving, he'll say something. Because you know he at work. <laughs> He'll pop in, he'll say something with you when he's not driving. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you just wonder. And you know what? The pandemic just made it worse. Seriously, it did. It just made it worse. You know, especially with us. You know what I mean? And they didn't really give us enough. They didn't really give... You know, people that were struggling, especially uh, uh, women and children and stuff, they really didn't spread it out enough because, like, in Canada, 
Canada just did it cut and dry. Everyone gets $2,000 per month. I think they did for that for two years. Everybody got $2,000 per month, you know, and um, yeah, for two years. They were able to, you know, stay on their feet. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. They were able to stay on their feet. You know, they out here spraying the uh, trees and, you know, the palm trees. Yeah, they out here spraying the trees. That's right. Give them some food. <laughs> but, yeah. So. But the thing of it is, what do they do about it now? Since it's so out of hand, Tam, what do they do? You know, because... From what I've seen, it's like blocks and blocks and blocks of homeless people. What do you do about it? <laughs> and you really feel sorry for the women that's, you know, I'm like, dang, what? It's no way <laughs> I would sleep in one of them tents. <laughs> no. You asking for trouble. <laughs> A woman? No. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, no. Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> Hola. Scarlett. Hola. Hola, Scarlett. How are you? Yeah. That you, that's what I'm talking about, Winstress. With the babies. I don't know. I've seen some of the YouTubers that was um, homeless. And. Um, they seem like they're doing a little bit better. Yeah. The county is trying to take over hotels to house them. They have also built tiny houses on vacant lots, but it's still, it's, it's, it's not enough. No. I will. And you? Wonderful, Scarlett. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's not enough. Because they've let it get so bad. They've let it get so bad. And them tiny, tiny, tiny houses. And see, here's the thing. You have to watch what hotel you be in, from what I was told. Say they have been housing the homeless people. And say not a lot of the hotels now have roaches and things up in there now. I'm like, what? Yes. Say, so you have to be careful of the hotels that, uh, that you stay in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, now dang, that's just messy. If you, you know, you, you spending money on a hotel and I forgot the, the names of them that you, <laughs> yes, it's bad. <laughs> what you say? Yes, it's bad. Yeah. They say you go there and honey, it will be, <laughs> it, it, it's probably some roaches in the daggone hotel because they've been you know, letting the homeless people stay up in there. So, I'm like, now, come on now, really? Really? And, I, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, them letting the homeless people stay there. But, I mean, I think we as tourists, we should be informed. I, you know, I know the, the hotel trying to get our money, but let's, let's, let's be real. Now, stop it. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because I, me, myself, I know I wouldn't stay there for real, you know, because, which is when the hotels don't clean like they should. Oh, okay. Okay. But, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you stay in a hotel, they usually clean every day. Don't they? <laughs> I know they were. The hotel's been, you know, they, they've, been, they've been cleaning every day. You know, you go there and you pay your money and every day they give you new bed linen. Not new, but, you know, clean bed linen. They aren't in any of the hotels I'd frequent anyway. But it is bad. Yeah. Sanitizer and Lysol. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, well, which hotels is that? 
You know, I want to know. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I want to know. <laughs> yeah, bleach. Oh, yeah. Lysol, bleach. Yeah, you're right, Winters. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, you know, they be in none of my hotels, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because you look up and, um, like, that's when I was in the city. When I was in the uh, South Suburban area or wherever, you know, in, in, in uh, Chicago, man, please, you have to be careful because you you be in a, an apartment or wherever it is, next thing you know, some, one of, <laughs> girl, that's all I'm saying. It's the rough ones. Oh, okay. No one on vacation should be staying in those areas anyway, in my opinion. Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, so it's not, it's not the real nice. Hotel. Oh, I got you, Tam. Okay. It's nothing like, um, yeah, what, <laughs> what you say, 100. Well, yeah, I heard that. So, okay. So it's, it's nothing like, uh, Trump or the Marriott or, um, yeah, Four Seasons. It's nothing like that. Okay. Okay. Even the Renaissance. Because when we went to Detroit for, the Bears game, it was the Bears against the um, Detroit Lions or the Detroit Lions against the Bears. And they had nice, uh, <laughs> you got to look out for those big, oh my, yeah, yeah. See, that's scary. That's scary. We have our pillowcases and everything. Isn't that awful that you do that? Pillowcases, look in, the lights off, you know, you spray the bed, you know what I'm saying? So... I mean, you know, because that's a habit for me, even at home, you know, when I uh, wash our bed linens and things like that, you just love it, you know, <laughs> you know, Lysol spray and stuff like that, Zelo. If we ever have to get a hotel, we going to Hampton, I don't know, all Hampton Inn and Holiday Inn and getting us a suite, right, <laughs> right. I don't know about Hampton Inn. Maybe Holiday. I don't know about Hampton Inn. I've never been to Hampton Inn. Hi, Brittany. Hola. Hola, Brittany. Yeah, honey, I've never been. Okay. I, I've been to a Holiday Inn. You know, but um, that's been a long time. But never been to Hampton Inn. Hmm. No, never been to Hampton Inn. Hopefully they're nice. Hampton, you know, yeah. But you do, you really, you have to look out for the bed, but you have to look at it. It's just awful, isn't it? Dang, you just. And you just wonder, like Winters and Vanessa was saying, how, how do you get out of it, Tam? That's the thing. How? What are they going to do? What about all the people that have spent all of that money in L.A. for those homes? And now, and they say those people, I mean, <laughs> take your own cleaners. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, that's the best thing. Make sure you have your, um, yeah, your own pillowcases. Yeah, pillowcases. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your Lysol spray. Yeah, all of that. All of that. Isn't that awful you have to go through all that, though? Zoe. Hey, Zoe Zonda. Zoe Zonda. Oh, okay. That's different. Zoe Zandra. Hola. Hola. Hi. All right. Welcome. Welcome, Zo. <laughs> no Zandra. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yes. That's a wonderful thing. Yeah, we getting a lot of new. We getting a lot of new ground folks. Hola, Liz. Hi. Hi, Liz. How's it going? Yeah, you late. That's all right, but you here. Mysterious. Uh-oh, who is that? Oh, oh. Honey, we got some grown folks, some new grown folks up in here hanging out. Yeah. 
Welcome. Welcome all the newbies. How's it going, Nita? Hola. Hola, Nita. Yeah. Vanessa Marriott. Oh, yeah. Double tree, too. Yeah. But it's going to cost you. Oh, yeah. I like double tree. You know, especially double tree had their own home baked chocolate chip cookies and everything up in there. I stayed at the Double Tree. I like it. Yes. Very much. Yeah. They had their own <laughs> chocolate chips that they give out to the tourists and stuff. Oh, yeah. And that's what you want. Sure. You, you, you only pay for what you get. That's where it is fine. Thank you, Nita. Yeah, this is the Ralph Lauren Polo. The little, the little cub, the bear. Yeah, the bear club. <laughs> Zolo take Donna to the Four Seasons or Ritz. Yeah, yeah. And I've been to the Four Seasons, and they're very nice. And one good thing about the Four Seasons, they will, like I was telling them, you work for, um, like, the criminal courts or the government, honey. They'll, they'll mark it down. They'll give you a, a, a yeah, mm -hmm. as a tourist, they will give you a, a, a good rate. Yes, they will. Especially, let's say, if you're staying a week. Definitely, Rich Carlton. Yes. So, let's say you're staying a week. They'll give you a good price. Yeah. Instead of you instead of saying, okay, well, that's $2,500. let us say you're staying five, six days, whatever. That's $2,500. They will give you, yeah. Mm-hmm. Any kind of criminal courts, government, anything. Yeah. They'll give you a, a, a nice little mark down. It'll be worth your while staying there and staying in that hotel. Yeah. How nice. Yes, Liz. Yes. Yes, it is. You know? So, I don't think they would have them. I don't think. I don't know. You know, stand, the, the homeless stand in, in those hotels. I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> Who is this? Okay. And Jay. Hola. Hi from Toronto. Hello there, and Jay. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome as a newbie. Yeah. <laughs> Liz say the service is excellent. It is. Four season, it, it is. It's very, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Double tree is good too. Double tree. I stayed at the fourth season for uh, 200 a night. Yeah. They will. They will give you an excellent rate if you are a tourist. You show them your style. They be like, okay, what? Well, you know what we're going to do for you? We're going to upgrade your room. Yeah. We're going to give you, We you know, we got a spare. And then, oh, yeah. Homeless are staying in the. Oh, in the motel. Oh, okay. In the motel six. Oh, in the budget in low but okay, okay. Low budget hotels. Oh, they are taking over empty hotels. Oh, okay, okay. Work rates. Okay. So, yeah, they've been um making documentaries about that too. They're showing real families. Not just some old, you know, mm -mm. they've been showing real families living like in Orlando, Florida, different places, you know, where they have just taken over hotels down there close by uh, Disney World. I'm like, what? <laughs> yes, they have taken over a lot of the hotels, quite a few. I don't know all the different ones. But, um, yeah, because when I was uh, going to go down there and someone told me, oh, no, you don't want, that's not the same no more. You don't want to go down there and stay there. I'm like, really? It's right by Disney World. I, they said, uh, homeless people be staying. Really? They said, yes. <laughs> you know, a lot, some of the hotels. Yes. Yeah, that's what, Yeah. So I'm like, well, dang, well, how is that? <laughs> you know, they said, well, they, they're guaranteed this money every month. 
You know, they're guaranteed this money. So they're starting to, dang, which one of the whole, yeah. So, oh my dang. So I'm trying to think which one was it I was going to stay in because at one point it used to be very nice. And now they say, uh -uh, it's, it's not nice anymore. Yeah. I forgot the name of this hotel. Dang. What was the name? I can't remember the name. But yeah, but they says it's, um yeah. And I'm thinking it was nice because it was only so many blocks away from Disney World. <laughs> they said, no. You don't want, you can't stay there. <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right, then. Well, we won't stay. We're not staying there. <laughs> you know. But I don't think they had like a Ritz Carlton by the uh, Disney World. I don't think so. Yeah. And when we went, we wound up staying like in a lodge on, on the ground. You know what I'm saying? So you know that was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you really didn't know which one was... You know, and the hotel don't tell you that. You'll call and ask them about it, and they'll be, well, we, you know, we'll rent to whoever, you know, and we, we don't know everybody's background. I'm like, oh, okay, that means, yeah, you lying. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what he said, yeah. Yeah, and that's what, I, that's what we did. We stayed on the property. Yeah, it's, we stayed on the property. Yeah, it was like a lodge or something, yeah. Yeah, and we that's what we did. We stayed on the property. Mm-hmm. It's so enjoyable. And then, you know, when I was looking at different homes and things, I was really surprised. It was like a hood. And I'm thinking all of Orlando is really nice. You know, because at one point, I'm like, dang, maybe I'll just take a chance. Go down there. You know, I have an uncle. He was like, no, you uh, -uh you can't go that. No. Uh -uh. So in order to rent a house nowadays, you got to have about $5,000. You're saved up for first month and deposit. Yeah. Yeah, you do. So I'm like, man, should I go down there? And, and then kind of find out it was a hood in Orlando. Uh, it, it was every... Every part of Orlando is not nice. That was <laughs> that's what I was informed of. Say, no, you can't. There's always a hood and everything. You know, and I, I'm just saying because, you know, I'm so accustomed to, since I've been out here, Schomburg. See, Schomburg, you know, it's just, you know, Schomburg and, and Barrington and stuff. It's just, you don't see it. I'm not going to say homelessness doesn't exist, but you don't see it. If someone becomes homeless, you know, you, you, you know, if they sit somebody's furniture out, they, they're not paying, they don't sit it on the street. They put it in a storage unit. That's what they do. And if you don't come get it, I guess then they, you know, they, um, you know, I guess they sell the stuff, but yeah, and Schomburg and Barrington over by me, you just, you know. <laughs> yeah, we you just, you know, yeah. So yeah, yeah, you it's it's you know, no, nah, I just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and then you know, we buy Woodfield, the Woodfield Mall and stuff like that. <laughs> they run them out <laughs> of my city, but I'm in the suburb. Yeah. But you go to cities over you know yeah and that's where they run them to i guess yeah that's what i'm saying yeah lives right you don't see it like on the city yeah you you don't like in the city you don't yeah so it's not it's, you know we don't see it mm -mm. you know and everything is taken care of so well you know and um you know and, and i guess you only pay for what you get yeah, very much so. Yeah, Key. Hey, Key! I, oh, hold on. We don't know if that's Key, you know, or the husband. I don't know which one that is. <laughs> but hey, Key and the husband. Yeah, both of you are. Huh? 
But um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, when you when they do that here, they do not. You can't sit anybody on the street. You have to put it in a storage unit or something like that. So you never see where, you know, people are, you know, like homeless and, and things of that nature. I'm just wondering, shoot, is, <laughs> since you mentioned it, I'm just wondering, dang, is it any, any out here? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we have all kind of different churches and different things like that. They probably put them in the Catholic church. It's me, the real key, the other person <laughs> being true. <laughs> That's all right. That's your husband. He can intrude your account. That's right. Sure. You know? But um, you just really don't know what to do with them. What do you do? Because now so much is expensive. I mean, it looked like just everywhere is they're growing up on every, I'm just, what, what do you do? <laughs> oh yeah, Tam say my neighborhood would write you up if your grass is longer than two, yeah. I mean, well, they want to keep it nice. They, <laughs> they definitely not allowing homeless to gather around. <laughs> I heard that, Shelly, hola. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what's going on? Well, key, what they were talking about as far as the homelessness. What can be done? All right there, Shelly. Welcome. We glad you're here. You know, you're just wondering. <laughs> I mean, it's so, you know, because like I was telling them, when I went to uh, California, that was some years ago, and... Um, I remember Roscoe chicken and waffles was very good. And but now Tam says it's not so much anymore. They they got canned goods and everything, you know. The chicken is good, but the rest of it is canned goods. But in the meantime, you know, I'm just wondering about all the homelessness. I mean, just blocks and blocks and blocks of tents. Homelessness just there. Just what do you do now since it's so out of hand? And I know Florida now has like tent city where people, they set up tents in different vacant lots and things like that. And um, hey, you just wonder what to do, you know? And now, you know, everything is so expensive. How do you, <laughs> just what do you do? That's what, <laughs> that's what we try to figure out with. I can't imagine living in a tent and then have my child. Quite a, quite a few of them have their children living in Tent City with them. And um, bam, I'm just wondering what you do about it. <laughs> Hola, Deborah. Hola. Hi. Okay. Yeah, that's how it is in Atlanta, too. Dang. And you know, we saw. The boo, we saw a documentary. I did not know Atlanta had that like that. They, uh, it was some guy did a documentary on Atlanta and it was nice. They were right in front of downtown, you know, like the court building, sleeping on slabs of, of, of just concrete and you know what I'm saying? Sleeping outside in front of the buildings downtown. I'm like, dang, huh? You know, and they walk past those people every day. You say, Key says, honestly, I've been there in life before. Homelessness is definitely a mindset. Yeah, and def I definitely didn't let it define me. No, you can't. Baby, I didn't go without a meal, shower, or sleep. So it it so it's what you make it. Yeah. Yeah. I think some people live say yes, it's very hard. You know, and it's excellent that you made it out, you know, because it seem like quite a few people they just give up. They just 
I think they, they, I think they get in some type of rut, it seems like, like in a rut and they, they just don't know what to do with themselves. I'm just surprised they allowed them to sit. They saw them on the front of downtown Atlanta in front of these, like a court building or whatever it is. And they were sleeping out there, <laughs> you know? And they had been sleeping out there for quite some time. So that's what I was shocked by. And I had showed the Buddha documentary and the lady was just, and they were all black and they were just sitting outside and they was like, you know, and that's where they were sleeping. They weren't just sitting there, they were sleeping out there. I'm like, dang. And you can't get no help. Look like to me, since Atlanta is mostly supposed to be like a, you know, look like we would, you know, they would do something to help the people sleeping outside with her children. One lady had four kids <laughs> and they were little. They weren't, you know, they were they were little. The baby looked like he maybe was two. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, you just wondered. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's just. <laughs> but that's wonderful, Key, that you was able to. Key said, that's a mindset. That, see, that's, that's good, Key. Yeah. And you were able to get out of it. You were able to start over, get you a place to stay. And that's what I thought. I know because when we were working, when I was working with the court system, we had different services for that. I lived there for three years and no, they didn't care. Really? Oh my. I'm surprised at that winters. I, I am. Yeah. 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 It can be depressing, but I told myself every day that that was... That was not my permanent situation. Oh, you go, all oh, right now. I didn't allow people to feel sorry for me either. I got up and I did what I had to do. Isn't that something? My fiance pulled me out, out of the uh, struggle. Yeah, and now I take care of her the same way she took care of me. Her family thought I was, <laughs> I was using her, but now they, really see the true potential I have. Yeah, because I know I saw it. And, you know, you were just surprised that so many people thought that that's what he was doing. But I told him, you know, don't talk about it. When you come down here, you're going to start working on yourself, your business, getting yourself together, you know. And, and it did. It, it took a minute, but he did it. He did it. Next thing you know, he was driving a truck and I mean, he got his class C and, and he went on, he did other stuff. I mean, man, you, I'm just saying, yeah. Cause you know, when people been used to like smoking weed since they was young teenagers and things like that, shoot, that take a minute to, to get them, get that body used to being without it. You know, yeah, it, it took a minute, but I told him, I said, we're not going to talk about it. All we're going to do, we let people say what they want. But we know why you're here. You are here for a better life. You're going to get yourself together. You're going to, you know, we don't care about that. And, and he, he did. And once he really got himself together, that's when you saw us back on social media. <laughs> because he needed to just focus on what he needed to do. You know, because, yeah, they're trying to quit that substance, you know, fire with weed and stuff like that. That take a minute. It does. And he did it. Yeah, he did it. Man, please. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Winters. Come on now. It's Testimony Tuesday. Ha! <laughs> you, I heard that. <laughs> Key says Testimony. Yeah. Z2 Famous. That's great, and. You give Donna the, her props. Yeah, he does. He don't let me forget it. He don't. He don't. He just, he just so grateful that 
You know, because like he said, he was in a dark place. He was. He was. And one thing he knew I was not going to do, I was not going to throw him out in the street. I wasn't doing that. No. Mm -hmm. She didn't have to tell me to do it. it right. It was already a matter. Yeah, he did. He said, I just want, I just want a better life. Yeah. And um, yeah, he knew that. So he had a chance just to focus on him. He did. He had a chance to focus on him. Just um, kicking that uh, weed, you know, because I'm, <laughs> you know, you driving trucks and things, you can't be, you don't want to be high. You <laughs> so, you know, had an excellent driving record. Didn't have any, you know, <laughs> wasn't DUIs, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, and when he finally did, he got his employment. You know, then he got his career, and yeah, yeah, and he has not missed a beat, you know, taking care of Miss Zariah, man, please, Ooh, Jesus, yeah, Went to, it takes a great woman to stand by her man and build him, yeah, yeah, you know, thank you, Winters, Tam, sometimes all we need is a chance and the right person, yeah, I agree, Tam. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it took time. It did. And I told him, I said, don't talk about it. Just let them think what they want to think. We know. We know. And um, yeah, and he, he did it. He did it. He surely did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it takes time. And one thing I do know, you just don't want to... Um, throw somebody in the street, you know, <laughs> you, you want to treat people like they're human, you know, and, um, let them get themselves together, especially when you know, and you see their potential, that they're not a bum. They, they're intelligent. They can do this. They know how to do merch. They know how to do, they know how to do something. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? So you see the potential that they have. So many different businesses they can have. And like I told you, just don't say anything. Just let people think what they want to think. But when the time comes, there you go. Bang, there you go. That's what. Yeah, God gave me Donna. I know. But <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, he don't, he don't ever let me um, forget, you know. But yeah, but we did, before he came down here and got on a plane, we talked about it. We truly did. And I, and I said, well, we just going to leave it between us. But yeah, we talked about it. Surely did. He said, I just, I just want to have something. I want to, you know, I want to make more money and, 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 you know, them little Taco Bell jobs and things like that. They, they not paying enough money where you can. You know, you able to take care of yourself, take care of your children, and you know, so yeah, so mm hmm, yeah. Key, I remember when I told my husband the stories about the things I've been through. He just looked at me and said, "How are you still smiling after all of that you've been through?" I said, "Baby, that's that's God. Come on now, Key. You know it. You know it. Yeah." It's a wonderful thing, you know? Yeah. And see, people don't give you a chance to, you know, it's just something, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's something, isn't that something? <laughs> How do you still smile, man? Be and you know what? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, we've been dealt a bad hand, you know, in life, you know what I mean? But that don't mean it has to last forever. You know what I mean? We're not responsible for who our parents are. We're not responsible for that. Only thing we could try to do is <laughs> make a better life for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And it's easier to do it when you have other people come into your life to just give you a hand. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, yeah. 
That's why I don't take no mess. That's right. <laughs> because, baby, I'm half, half, <laughs> half hood. I heard that key. Key said she don't, <laughs> oh, she don't take no mess. I heard that key because, I mean, dad, you know, it's something. It's something. It truly is. And now it's so hard. She said half holy, half holy, half hood. <laughs> I heard that, yeah, yeah, but yeah, so, you know, you just try to do the best you can with your life, you know, and um, a lot of times, if you have somebody positive with you, you know, right, Key, come on now, look at, <laughs> look at Winches, yeah, yeah, it's something, honey, mm, mm, let me put this onion in the fridge. And you know what? Here's the thing. What bothered me the most. <laughs> Look at me. Come on now. Look at me. <laughs> Do you really think that I have to bring a man into my home just to lay up on me? Don't work? Don't do nothing? Just really? Really? No, I don't think so. I will let people know when I'm desperate. Okay? No, 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 no. No. I have never in my life dealt with a man that was unemployed, didn't want to do better. Never. Oh God, no. I've never wanted somebody like that. Just lay up on me. He's, mm -mm. But one thing I'm not gonna do is talk about his business, what he's trying to do and what he's going to do. Because, see, only thing people do is pray for your downfall. See, you don't want to talk about it. You won't be about it. You want them to see the better you. Okay. You really think I'm going to let somebody come here and eat and sleep? Don't do nothing. Don't go no school. Don't do anything. Really? Come on now. Stop it. You know, I just didn't go there. I just didn't go there. But, okay. Yeah, I'm an older woman. But no, I'm, I'm not desperate though. See, I'm not, I'm not a monkey. I get it. I'm not a monkey. <laughs> I don't have to do that. Come on, stop it now. <laughs> yeah, Winters, no ma'am. Yeah, Winters. What key say, Winters? Where you been, <laughs> Miss Donna said we... <laughs> We was gone putting a, okay, put an alert on you. Yeah, she been, she say she been working. Okay. Okay. <laughs> alert on you because we couldn't find, yeah, she been gone. She's no man. Talk, yo, yeah. You know? Yes, tell them, Donna, yeah. Went to action. Slow it down, baby. Yeah. You know? Donna say stop it. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's key husband, Miss Donna. Okay, preaching Sunday school this month. Right, I'm just, I was just shocked at all the things that people were saying. I mean, have you all looked at me? Really? Come on now. Have you looked, have you looked at me? No, no, I, I, no, no. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I was totally, you know, shocked at what different reactions were saying. And I'm like, no, no, okay. And see, and the thing of it is, he's not even that type of dude. He will not, he's not going to sit and lay up on you. What he's trying to do is make a better life. Maybe, you know, when he was down in Florida, he's trying to get himself together. He, you know, he trying to be a rapper. He trying to do stuff, but it just wasn't working out. 
<laughs> the eyes was, you know what I'm saying? Because see, a lot of times when you grow up around stuff, you have to change your environment. Yeah, you have to change. <laughs> yeah, you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on now. Listen, let the booze. Stop stopping you being bad. No, you have to, <laughs> you know. Come on now. Keys, husband, talk. <laughs> being Maryland. Hey, Donna. And chat. Hey. I had to say, hey, Donna ain't never lying. You preaching now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, being Maryland? <laughs> I have an appointment and have to go. All right, now. Thanks for stopping in. All right. Tam said, Donna said, let me <laughs> take a spin. Stop the crazy talk. I mean, I'm just saying. Hola, JC. Hola, hola. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, it was just so, I don't know. It was just so, you know. But see, I'm, I'm that type. If I'm your friend or you might, I mean, especially, you know, that's your friend. That's your friend. That's your man. That's, you know what I'm saying? Pillow talk is pillow talk. It's between you and I. Even if you have a girlfriend, y'all tight. You don't go back and talk about your girl. Even if y'all have words or whatever, you won't hear me talk about my friend, my girl. You won't hear that from me. That's just not how I am. That's, I didn't grow up like that. I wasn't taught that, you know. <laughs> I'm confidentiality. That's what I am. Confidential. You won't hear me talking about, oh, you know, so and so, you know, she, she did this or she told me that. No, you will never see this on this channel about me talking about <laughs> my friends or anything like that. You know what I mean? As far as confidential stuff, what they tell me or whatever. No, 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 this, no, no. Okay. Z, baby, I know certain people big mad. <laughs> they don't have a fiance and they chat right about now. I'm trying you trying to stop. Okay. <laughs> I'm listening at you, boo. <laughs> Keep Miss Donna say the only ladies that's desperate is your mama. <laughs> I'm not listening at Key. <laughs> JC. She okay, which was that's okay. JC, I just came in. Don't know what you are talking about, but that's so, <laughs> that's so me. Yeah, if we stop talking, no bad, no mouthing from, no, no. Uh-uh, my girls, <laughs> even though we might get along, I had a misunderstanding, they still my girls, you know? Even my family, I might get mad at them or we have words. But you won't hear me coming in here talking about my family. You know what I'm saying? You just, you know, I'm just saying, you know, confidentiality. Yes, honey. Yeah. All right, Winters. What you, <laughs> Winters over here. Yeah. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> JC. Yeah. It's just wonderful to, you know, that people can't confide in you, you know, and you want to keep it like that. You know, you don't want to, you know, as soon as something go on, then you, you know, she, she said this about you. Say, no, 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 mm -mm, no, mm -mm. no, Miss Donna, your girl. <laughs> uh oh, this the husband. <laughs> Miss Donna, your girl, keep be ready to help people out. <laughs> no, nah, Key, you all good, girl. I get it though, you know. I feel you. Myra, oh no, don't worry about the haters. <laughs> Thank you, Myra. Welcome. We don't, you new. You a newbie, Myra. Yeah. <laughs> when you say I'm going to walk the block with my daughter, y'all. Love y'all. All right now. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Hey, everybody. What's up? Good life. How are you? Hola. Hola. <laughs> Hi, Key and Key's husband. That's right. <laughs> you, you know, because you don't know which one it is. He'll pop in and he'll say something. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's beautiful. 
it's truly, it truly is. It's beautiful to have someone like that. You know, he wants to share everything with her. <laughs> That's good. Hola. <laughs> JC said, hola, good life. Yeah. Yeah, Wintry, she, she getting in the street. I'm going to see about my chicken now because, honey, you all, y'all sitting up eating y'all food. Let me see what's going on. I don't care. We got to put my dog on sweet peas. Bang, 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 Back in the microwave. No, we don't, because it's warm. It's still, they still warm. I don't have to do that. Daisy, y'all, I'm in and out the chat. Just, just getting home. I heard that. Well, we're just happy that you're here. That's what we're happy about, you know? Mm hmm But the bottom line is, you know, life is good. You know, sometimes you'll have your little struggle. You know, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to play like I know everything because I don't. I don't know what they need to do about the homeless situation. You know, only thing you know is just sad. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's all I can say about it. It's just sad, sure. You know? What you cooking? I'm I'm just getting on. I heard that. <laughs> Y'all, I mean, yeah, but uh, good luck. I'm baking some... Uh, Mustard chicken, Ch chicken wings, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Got some potatoes with it and uh, some green peas. Mm. So it should be almost ready. You know what? Let's peek in, see what's popping. Yeah, let's do that. Let's peek in and see what's popping. We gonna put this bag right here for a second. Yeah, let's put, I think, we don't need no more mustard. I think we good now. <laughs> yeah, it's cooking good, man. Yeah. My Miss Donna coming through. Coming through with the with the fashion. I would love to see hauls from you. Man! <laughs> you know what? Girl. I get I have so many clothes, seriously. I really do. I try not to uh key. Why my husband? On here telling my business. <laughs> you know what? Don't be falling out with him. He sound like a good dude. He finna get blocked. Oh my God. Don't do him like that, kid. He just, <laughs> he just, he just want to talk about his wife. And that's wonderful. You know, you all have a wonderful relationship. And, it, and it's great. I think I could turn this off now. I might just let it sit for a few minutes. You know? I see what Kiki I'll be shaming herself. Stop picking on Stop picking on your husband. Stop picking on your husband, girl. Woo woo. Yeah, man. We gonna let it sit just a little while longer. Got talking. Foyer motion. Let's let it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it, boo, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, good baked baked chicken. Yes, I do air people out because they don't play with me. <laughs> nah, be nice. Be nice. <laughs> yeah, I think we good. I think we good in the neighborhood. Yeah. I'm going to let it sit for a second. Cool off a minute. Yeah, you know you want some good, but you, you want to kind of have a little crispness to it on the top. That's what I like, you know. So that's what I do. I let it, like, brown. Mm -hmm. I let it brown, so we're going to let it sit for a minute. Now, honey, we taking that out. Valerie, oh no. Is that Valerie? Let's see. Yeah, Valerie. Hi, Miss Donna. I've never seen you before, Miss uh, Valerie. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Hi, Miss Donna and everyone. This is Valerie. I have been sick, so I'm back. I really miss you. Okay, Miss Valerie, because I'm like, dang, where you been? I don't even remember. So, 
What you came? You must you came on as soon as I, I got started. Yeah, then you took a you just went away. I'm like, okay, well, you know. Well, I'm happy that you back. And not just me. The grown folks, we happy you back. That's how that that yeah. That's how we do that. The ground fuck. Yeah. Let me heat up my, uh, hold down a minute. Yeah, I better heat them up again. My dog gone. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah. How you feeling? You better? Yes, ma'am. I sure did. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Key. Boy, I Boy, how about you <laughs> get you some bills and make sure you, you have my dinner ready <laughs> when I get home. Stop it. <laughs> when I get home. About, how about that? <laughs> I'm not listening to that. You know what? You are something else, Key. Yeah, you better leave that husband alone. Your husband sound like a good dude. Yeah, a good dude. Now you just nitpicking, honey. Nit, 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 nitpicking. Yeah, let me just heat up my little, my little peas for a second. Man. Yeah, everybody ready for their dinner. I, I heard that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Keith said he be on here showing his behind, Miss Dunn. But you know what? He sound like a good dude. He sounds like a good dude, though, you know? So, uh -huh. you know, it's, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect, honey. You know, but, um, yeah. Yeah. Fire. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got, oh, you, you know what? You wrong for that. I've been saying I'm going to get Chinese. I haven't got, you know, and eventually you are going to see me, honey. When it start getting hot, when it start getting hot outside, I'm going to be picking up. We're going to be on the porch, talking, mukbanging, stuff like that. Yeah, we're going to do mukbang <laughs> once I get it situated. Yeah. Sure. I love, uh, hmm. Girl, what you get? When I get Chinese, I love the, um, when I get Chinese, I always get the jumbo shrimp fried rice. And I always get something to mix with it. You know, vegetable egg foo young or, uh, I'm tired of cooking. I need to, I got you. I, I got you. You Now you see how I've been cooking, so... <laughs> When the weather starts to change, I will. I'll be cooking less. But when it's cold and cool outside, it's just something about it. It just, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, it all has to do with growing up, you know, like that. So, yeah. When it's cool or cold outside, uh-uh. It was cooking in the kitchen, you know. But... A lot of times, like on the weekend, like once a week or whatever, twice a week, my grandfather, uh, he would stop and we would have like limbs. It was a place in uh, Chicago. Limb, and it's still there today. 74th, about two blocks west of King Drive. Limbs Barbecue. Oh, chocolate boom. Hola. Hola, chocolate. Okay. <laughs> Hello, grown and sexy folks. You know it. I'm sorry. I'm late. I missed the whole live. You did, because we get ready. Everybody talking about they getting ready to go uh, get their dinner. <laughs> Keith said, I'm cooking. I'm cooking her favorite. Oh, okay. This this the husband. I'm cooking her favorite meatloaf, and and these kids going to be asleep. Okay. He said, the kids going to be asleep. Might have to. Hit the liquor cabinet, grown folks, edition. You know tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you like egg foo young beef and broccoli. Okay, and crab ragu. Oh, you like crab ragu. Uh, the boo, that's what he likes. He likes crab ragu. Okay. <laughs> PJ, 
Have a great evening. You too, PJ. Thank you for stopping in. Yeah. All right now. It's wonderful. Thank you for coming by. Yeah. Hanging with the ground foes. Chocolate boom with you. Let's see. Oh, I baked some chicken wings today. Some mustard chicken wings, made some potatoes, and made some green peas. Some frozen green peas. Okay. <laughs> so we ain't going to. Okay, we ain't on that kind of time tonight, <laughs> today, right? No, we know they got a time, right? <laughs> uh, he's a good dude. Yeah, I would get the, like I said, I would get the jumbo shrimp. You don't eat the shrimp fried rice? Yeah, I get the jumbo shrimp fried rice. I get the, um, yeah, vegetable egg foo young. Sometimes I'll get the, uh, Chop suey, my mother, woo, honey. My mother loved her some chop suey. When she came from California, when she would come to visit, baby, please, that's the first place we would go. When that plane landed, we wanted to get some Chinese food. That's right, some beef chop suey or a green pepper or whatever it is. I mean, she. <laughs> I love wonton soup, really. Okay, wonton soup. But yeah, I like the um, yeah. I would do chop suey or yes, I eat shrimp fried rice, but I prefer pork fried rice. Oh really? Oh okay. I haven't had the pork fried rice. I'm such a shrimp lover. Okay, I love your bun in your hair today. Okay. You did a good, yeah, I did a twist, child. I was in a hurry, too. I'm like, oh, it's almost time to go live. I got to twist it, girl, honey, yeah. Good job wrapping it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Chocolate, yeah. What you eat today, Chocolate? Honey, we over here, we trying to get our food together because, let's see here. It's time for, uh, it's time. Everybody talking about they <laughs> they going to get their dinner. What you eating today, chocolate? You going you going uh girl. Let me get this out of here. Yeah, we got some. See here, I mean, I like some crisp to my chicken wing. See here, yeah man. Chicken wine, chicken wine, chicken wine. But I wanted it baked. We'll just have a little crisp on the top. You know, that's what I like. But I'm like, man, we're going to break. You know, because the boo, he always get fried chicken wine. He love fried chicken. Fried chicken wine. And I do. I like it too. But I had a taste for some good baked chicken. So that's what we doing today, honey. We got time today. Hey. Well, my boy said we got time today, honey. I had me some green peas. I got some frozen green peas. I said, man, I'm going to heat these bad boys up to go along with my, you know, it's a wonderful thing. Chill. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Now, see, it's got some, see how they, mm. you see how they got that Christmas to it? At the time, I loved for chicken to have some kind of Christmas to it. I don't just want it to be, you know. Uh-uh. I like my chicken with some crisp. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we got a few potatoes that we putting with it. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Potatoes, 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 potatoes. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the deal. Yeah, this is the dinner for right now. Talking, I haven't eaten anything yet. Don't know what's <laughs> don't know what's going to be on the menu. Okay, I will let my kids decide. Decide. <laughs> it's only two two thirty here. Oh, okay. So it's early. That's like um in Cali. Yeah, in California, when my mother was um. We know when she, before she passed, and I would call her, I would be at work, and I would get there like seven, right? And I would call, 
I, it'll be like 715. She'll be, ah, you forgot it's 515 here. Don't keep on calling me. <laughs> okay, I got you. Okay, 230 here. I'm about to go pick them up from school. All right. Well, thank you for stopping in with us. The grown folks. The grown folks. All right. Let's see here. Let's say some grace. You know I have to say my grace with my grown folks. All right. God, thank you for this food to nourish our mind and body. God bless the hands that made it. God bless our homeless and our struggle. God bless the supporters and haters because they are our motivators. Amen. Yes. Woohoo. These chicken wings. <laughs> These, they say, oh, those. Those chicken wings look good. We call those oven fried wings. Yeah. You got to. I'm back for my bite of food, JC. <laughs> okay, good luck. You know it. Amen. Amen. There you go. Okay. Okay. She's up. <laughs> good life says she ain't cooking no more until Sunday. I heard that. <laughs> and that's all right. All right, now let's just take a bite. We got to take a bite of the food. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's take a bite, honey. See, and me, I'm the type, baby, I love it. I love this little part right here. The little wing part, man, please. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Huh. It's crisp. Huh. Girl. Mmm. We gonna have us a little tater. Mm, mm, mm. Who love green peas? I love green peas. I love green peas. Mm, mm. That's what I'm saying. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Girl. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I love crispy oven baked chicken. I do. You know, it's healthier and stuff like that from the taste of Okay. Thank you all for stopping in. I love you all. And I'll see you tomorrow. Like, share, and subscribe. Only if you want to. Only if you want to. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. You know it. My ground folks.